Hey guys, Todd Colburn here for the Aerospace Structure Series. This video is on the formulas for memorization from our first lecture of topics. Do you mind? Now, I'm not a huge fan of memorization for engineering, and this is why our tests in my classes are all open book. However, there are a few formulas that you really need to know, like your name like the back of your hand in order to be an effective analyst. And this will give you the first of those and be watching along each lecture for a list of formulas that you should actually memorize. Let's take a look at them real quick. There's only a few for our first lecture. The first one is axial stress. Remember, if we have a member subjected to axial load, whether tension or compression, the stress is just P over A. The force, you, you, you take a cross-sectional cut that's perpendicular to the force, and that defines the area. And if you take P over A, that's the average stress on the cross-section. You should know this one, P over A, and how to apply it correctly every time. Now remember that sigma is the symbol used for stress nearly worldwide for uh, axial stresses. However, in aerospace, lowercase f is often used for the calculated stress. So whether you use sigma for that stress, p over a, or f, what we're looking at normally, we're looking for the average stress on the section, which is simply p over a. Make sure that if you're asked about an axial stress, you know to use p over a for an axial load. Now, the next form that we need to know is axial strain. Now, we're going to also learn Hooke's Law in our next one, but here we need to just understand axial strain. Remember, if we load a four, any member, structural member, with a force P, it's going to grow in length. And as that gets longer, that's called strain, the deflection divided by the original length. We could use delta L over L or delta divided by L, that deflection divided by original length. Whether we have a rod or a stringer or what, if we have an axial load, the strain is delta L over L. Make sure you understand this formula. You can pull it out of mem by memory. You like that one? Did this one. Our next formula is margin of safety. Now remember, if we have an axial load, we need to be able to calculate the stress, P over A. We also need to evaluate that. And the margin of safety is simply the allowable stress divided by the calculated stress minus one. Typically, the calculated stress we're worried about is the maximum stress, which would be that P over A stress if we're talking about an axial load. The allowable, just like lower in, in aerospace, lowercase f means calculated stress, and uppercase f means allowable stress. But if we're talking about an axial load, Typically, we're going to be comparing this to FTU, so it would be FTU over the maximum stress minus 1. So those are the formulas that you need to know after Lecture 1, the ones that you need to memorize. You need to be able to do anything else we cover, but you ought to actually have these formulas as part of your memory. Whether you're in industry, if you're a structures professional, whether you're in my classes, make sure you know these be watching along each of the other videos for the supplement talking about which formulas need memorized. Sound good? What do you think about that puppy, huh? You like that idea? Okay. All right. Enjoy.